Function Notation We will use function notation to write the relationship between inputs and outputs which satisfy the requirements of being a function. In y equals f of x, f is the name of our function. This brings a new use for letters and symbols which is distinct from constants or variables. f does not hold meaning without its input or independent variable x. Our output or dependent variable is y or f of x. Say I'm given f of theta equals 5 times theta minus theta squared. I'm supposed to find f of negative 3. The negative 3 has replaced theta in my function notation, so it should replace theta everywhere else. I can set up f of negative 3 equals 5 times negative 3 minus negative 3 squared. When I simplify and combine like terms, I get negative 24. Using the same function f, I am now supposed to find f of 2k. Replacing theta with 2k everywhere gives me f of 2k equals 5 times 2k minus 2k squared. Simplifying each term gives me 10k minus 4 times k squared. I can also estimate values from a graph. If I have this graph, called g with inputs x, I could find g of 1 and a half by finding 1 and a half on the input's axis, then find the appropriate output. A reasonable answer would be anywhere between 3 and 5 here. Evaluating a table has less guesswork. Given this table representing the function h with inputs y, I can find h of 3.5 by finding 3.5 in the y row and seeing which output I get, which is 9.2. I could also find inputs for a given output. If I'm told that h of y equals negative 8, then I should find negative 8 in the output row and see which input goes with it, which is negative 2.5. Now that you can recognize function notation, you can find the values of functions at certain inputs. You may also be able to find the input associated with a certain function value or output.